Okay, as you can see, I think we're going to be in a bit of a quandary. Um, let's walk over here. And you can see the size of Nadine's luggage. But then we have all of that copper. I know it's dark. I'm sorry there's not enough light in these places. Okay, oh my goodness, and there is that wonderful huge picture she's got to try to pack. But wait a minute, folks. We got a little bit of paint. We've got a coffee pot. Oh my goodness, we got a camera bag. <gasps> Look at all the linens over here. <laughs> what do you think, folks? Do you think it's going to make it? Oh, but we forgot about the other suitcase in the other room. Oh, but you still have your clothes, honey. What do you think? Is it going to work? I think I can work magic. I might even be able to go shopping again tomorrow. I think that is a good possibility. Where there is a will, there is there a way. Is a way. Hey. Right? Hey, the blonde and the redhead will make it happen. Stay tuned and let's see what happens. Miss Nadine. Yes, pretty. I think I can help you. I'll wear your hat. Should I wear your hat home? I think you should, but you're missing the red scarf. Oh, should I go locate it? I know. Did Let she me... move the price tag? Because hmm. it'd be called a new mini girl. That wouldn't be bad. I could I could handle her name. But this wouldn't be much help, would it? No. Right now, I think I think the hat is just a tad big. <laughs> <laughs> a bag. <laughs> I apologize for not filming earlier, but Nadine's doing a pretty doggone good job. Look at this. She's almost got everything in, and she bought more today. She bought more silver. You bought silver today, didn't you? Silver and one more piece of copper. Oh, yeah, you did buy another piece of copper, but I'm impressed. How about you all? So nobody believed that I could possibly get all of that stuff into two suitcases. <laughs> I am so proud of myself. Look at this suitcase. Every piece of copper got in there and every piece of linen and the pigments and the pottery and shoes and scarves and tablecloths. All of those things fit. How did I do it? Well, let me show you. The copper, big copper container is packed in here, but I stuck a plastic bag down inside of it and it is holding all the linen. All the pigments fit into a shoe box, little shoe box, and every little nook and cranny has been used up all along the edges. And the secret is rolling your clothes into sausages. Yes, folks, sausages. You don't waste any space. And these tiny little spots with the leftover hair will hold the last few bits and pieces of clothes to go in. This piece of luggage, which was my carry-on, is going as extra luggage. Again, everything rolled and every nook and cranny used up. So one suitcase two suitcases, my camera bag, and my carry-on with my pillow and blankie for the plane. So we're all ready. <laughs> we got a problem, Houston! <laughs> okay, now here's the deal. When a bag is laying down, no, when a bag is standing up, it weighs way more than it did laying down. Lift, girl, lift. This is more than 50 pounds. Uh-oh, now what? I think overweight is going to be in order, and I cannot rearrange this bag. If I pull one thing out, it's going to be like a Rubik's Cube. Nothing else is going back in its place. <laughs> oh, I my. think overweight is going to be it. <laughs>